Hi everyone. Today we are going to see the relation between the perimeter and area. In order to investigate the relationship, we are going to control the perimeter but manipulate the area by adjusting the length and width. Control here means we are going to keep the perimeter unchanged but instead we adjust the length and width to get the area. Let's start with the square of 6 by 6. Adding all sides, we get the perimeter of 24 and multiply the length and width, we get the area of 36. Okay, let's have an, a rectangle with the length and width 8 and 4 respectively. We will get the perimeter 8 plus 4 plus 8 plus 4 equals to 34. And the area is 8 by 4 equals to 32. Next, we can have another rectangle with dimension of 9 by 3. So the perimeter is 9 plus 3 plus 9 plus 3 equals to 24. And the area is 9 times 3 equals to 27. Finally, we will take a rectangle with dimension of 10 by 2, which will give us perimeter still the same, 24 and the area of 20 squared centimeter. Now observe the difference between the length and width of each rectangle. What pattern that you see? We can see that as the difference between length and width increases, the size of area decreases. In other words, the more the difference between the length and width, the lesser the area becomes. When the value of the length minus the width is less, the area will be more. Okay, let us try to solve this problem together. The, pr the following rectangle A, B, C, D and E have the same perimeter. Arrange the area of the rectangle in descending order. Explain your answer. Okay, in order to find which one area is greater than the other, we are going to look at the ratio of each of the length and width of each of them. For the rectangle A, B, C, D and E, the least difference will be the largest area. The smaller the difference between length and width, the larger will be the area. So, the area in descending order is rectangle A, C, B, D and E. Okay, look at this problem. If we are not given with any of the length, how are we going to decide which one is bigger than which? What we can do is that we estimate the difference of length and width by comparing them like this. A has more difference in length, so A has the least area. B has no difference in the length, so B has the bigger area than A. In this problem, the measurement is given in the diagram. So, you can just calculate the area and compare. Alternatively, we can simply compare the difference of length and width of each rectangle. This problem is similar to the previous one. Which one do you think has the larger area? For rectangle A, the difference is 7 minus 4 is 3, while rectangle B has the difference of 1. So, rectangle B is larger than rectangle A. That's all for now. Thank you for watching. See you next time. Bye-bye.